Meghan Markle had an extraordinary meeting with the Queen before her and Prince Harry's bombshell exit from the royal family, a royal commentator claimed in a documentary. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex famously stepped back from their royal roles and moved to the US two years ago. They now live in Montecito, a leafy gated neighborhood in California just up the coast from Los Angeles. Meghan and Harry have spoken at length about the pressures they faced from the media during their time in the royal family. In their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview, Harry claimed that a lack of support and lack of understanding was behind his and Meghan's decision to move away from their royal lives. The Duke also said the decision to leave the UK was to get away from the press and because of what he perceived as a lack of support from his family. Reports went on to suggest there was a certain tension between Harry and Meghan and other members of the royal family. The fallout and subsequent events are charted and examined in tonight's Channel 5 documentary, Harry and Meghan vs. the Monarchy, in which royal experts like Ashley Pearson dissect the ins and outs of the saga. Meghan said she and Harry were going for lunch there and were joined by the Queen, who had been giving a church service in Windsor nearby. She told Oprah that she did not know how to curtsy and had to practice the gesture on the way in. Meghan said, I thought genuinely that's what happens outside, that was part of the fanfare, I didn't think that's what happens inside. Harry and Meghan vs the monarchy also features former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond, who discussed Meghan's first meeting with Prince Charles. She said, meeting your in-laws is always a bit of an ordeal isn't it? Meeting your in-laws when one is going to be a future king, meeting Prince Charles, must have been quite tough for Meghan, or a little bit daunting. Today, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's foundation is awarding a grant to a UK charity that is one of just two Meghan is still a patron of. The couple's Archul website revealed today that Smartworks is among four charities that it would be supporting in order to mark Women's History Month, which starts today. Meghan became patron of Smartworks, an organization that helps women get back to work, in 2019 before she and Harry quit as senior working royals. When they stepped down from the firm in early 2020, the pair had to relinquish some of their patronages. Although one of the two private charity patronages that Meghan has kept is Smartworks and another with animal charity Mayhew. A statement on the Archul website says, since 2019, Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex has been patron of Smartworks, a UK charity that exists to give women the confidence they need to reach their full potential, secure employment and change the trajectory of their lives. Actual Foundation's support will enable the creation of the Smartworks Female Unemployment Index, which will be an extremely robust study looking at unemployment issues that affect women across the UK with the aim of creating an annual benchmark against which progress and change can be tracked. In September 2019, Meghan launched a Smartworks clothing collection that included workwear essentials from an elegant blazer and well-cut trousers by Jigsaw, to a tote bag that fits all the essentials needed for an interview from John Lewis and Partners. A classic dress, flattering to all sizes, from Marks and Spencer, and a crisp white shirt from the women's wear designer and friend of the Duchess, Misha you knew, completed the range. The range was launched in partnership with John Lewis and Partners, Marks, and Spencer, Jigsaw, and Misha you knew. For two weeks, items were available on a one-to-one -one model, meaning that for every item bought by a customer, another was given to help a woman get back into the workplace. Speaking in September 2019 on the day she launched the collection, Meghan said, Since moving to the UK, it has been deeply important to me to meet with communities and organizations on the ground doing meaningful work and to try to do whatever I can to help them amplify their impact. Ever I can to